it's not fair what happens when our image goes from this 3D thing where you have, you're moving, you're breathing, you have a smell, hopefully a good smell, you have a smell, you're, you have all this motion to you, and you have emotion, and you have laughter, and you have your voice. When you take that, you take that three-dimensional thing, and you slap it into something flat that's trapped behind a piece of glass on your computer or on the pages of a magazine, all of a sudden, you know what goes away? The movement, your laughter, your personality, your voice. And you know what's left? All of a sudden, the things that you would never notice when you're standing right in front of somebody, that stuff's gone. It's not just that now your flaws show in a flat picture, they're actually amplified. Stuff that you would never notice. This, this is why sometimes you'll have people go, oh, I hate the way you look in pictures. Oh, I can't stand the way I look at pictures. Do you know why? Because they're used to seeing themselves in the mirror every day. When they see themselves in the mirror when you're getting dressed, you're moving, you're breathing, you're, you're three-dimensional. When they take a picture of themselves and they look at it and they go, that's not what I look like. You know why? because that's not what they look like. All of a sudden, it's a different view of them. It's not the right view of them. And so, oh, by the way, if you run into somebody that says, I love pictures of me, they have an entirely different problem. Anyway, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. We have a job, and it's not to make people look ridiculously thin, and it's not all that other stuff. It's not to make people's skin look plastic. Portrait retouching is done for a reason. And what our real job is, is not to make people look fake. And it's not to remove their imperfections. You know what the job of a real retoucher is? It's to make people look as good in a photograph where every flaw is amplified as they did when you were standing in front of them. I want to give you an example of the typical stuff that we would do in this kind of situation. Take a look at our subject here. She has a little mole. If you look right below her nose, there's a little mole. Now. Of course, in Photoshop, we can remove stuff like that in a second, right? We have a tool that actually does it for us. It's called the healing brush, right? Take a look, it's right here. And how the healing brush works is this. We'll zoom in a little tighter there. See how obvious this thing is? So you take the healing brush, and then you just find a clean part of skin nearby, and then you just move over the mole, and you click one time, and it's gone. You know what happens when you remove her mole? It's not her anymore. And her friends know it and her family knows it, they're like, where's your mole? To make it realistic, to make it look like she really looks, in real life, we use a feature called fade. So fade is, think about this, undo on a slider. If I drag the slider all the way to the left, I've undone it, it's undo, the mole's back. If I drag it all the way to the right, there's no mole. Our job is to make the mole look like it does in real life to where it doesn't jump out like it does in the photo, so we just reduce it a little bit. By reducing a little bit, you see the mole, it looks like her, but it looks like her when you're actually talking to her. Now, same thing goes, uh, take a look at this guy, nice looking guy, and he looks great from this far away. But if you zoom in on him, like people will look at him in the picture, all of a sudden you see all kinds of little bumps and stuff, but if you zoom in close, and closer than you'd ever get to somebody, you see he has what everybody has, little red, red veins in the eyes. When was the last time you thought about, hey, I saw the veins in his eyes? Never. We don't ever even think about it until you see a photo and all of a sudden there's veins. And while you're there, retouching so close, you'd never be this close to him, but he's got a little, like a pimply kind of embarrassing thing. Just move it. Because by the time I retouch his photo, that's gone anyway. So here's the thing. Also, we retouch the eyes. They get kind of, uh, you know the whites of your eyes in a the photograph? They turn into the grays of your eyes. So the typical thing that we would do, here's the, the picture straight out of the camera, is here's a retouch. I retouched it. And if you just looked at that and thought, well, that doesn't look a whole lot different. Exactly. Here's what I did. I brightened the face, I reduced the moles a little bit, and I brightened the whites of her eyes. The typical stuff that you would really do with real portrait retouching, right? So that's what she, that's what she really looks like right there. So what is this? What this is is when it's overdone. When you've made her thinner than she is, you removed every single stray hair, you removed every blemish, you removed the mole, you've desaturated her skin. You want to see what I did to it? This is what we did. And this is a short list compared to what they would do on a map.